Well, my friends, I'm here at Allendale Machinery again. I welcome you to MTD, and I get to speak with Andrew today. Today, we're gonna run a demo on the Citizen Machine, and Andrew's gonna walk us through some of the capabilities of the machine and the exact demo we're gonna run today to help you familiarize yourself on some of the capabilities that you might be able to accomplish as well. So, Andrew, would you mind explaining what we're gonna do today and some of the actual capabilities of the Citizen Machine in general? Sure. So. The Citizen Machine is a Swiss type lathe, has mill turn capability, so I can do milling, I can do turning on both sides. It has a sub spindle pickoff, so I can machine op one, op two, milling on both sides. A lot of capability with what I can do and flexibility to do all of the things I need to be doing on that part. So you're talking, you said, uh, Flexibility. I think flexibility is a major component in what we're trying to accomplish in the industry right now because batch sizes are starting to be reduced. You know, sure. now we're running much smaller batches, so flexibility is important. And you mentioned milling and turning, and then also the capability of bar feeder changing programs, simplicity of the software itself. Of course. Yeah, so with, with the addition of a bar feeder on this type of machine, uh, you can run lots of parts repeatedly. Uh, you know, a lot of customers will use this type of a machine in a multi-shift setup, so they may have, you know, up to 24 hours a day, total realized runtime of this machine. Uh, with the bar feed, you're looking at a lot more throughput out of this machine than a traditional lathe. Uh, and with the capabilities, having milling on board this machine while you're turning as well, you can complete the part in one set you know you don't have to take it to a different machine you don't have to refixture it you're dropping the parts complete out of this machine in swiss machine world that's exactly what we want we want these things to keep running absolutely so what are we specifically running today what's the demo you guys are going to show off the part that we're going to be running is more of an industrial part it resembles something along the lines of a valve seat things seen in, in uh, industrial automation that kind of thing and uh it's about a 28 second cycle time, so pretty quick. Getting a lot of parts through and not a lot of time is what this machine's all about. Well, as you know, MTD has a lot of viewers and some of those viewers are just learning okay. and some of them are quite expert in what they do already and are very familiar with this. Okay. So if I'm watching this video and I'm picking out things that if I'm a beginner and I, I should look out for, what would those be? And also, if I'm an expert, what's unique in this machine that maybe I haven't seen before? Sure. Um, if you're a beginner just looking in, I would say watch the main spindle because you'll see right out of the gate there's going to be a part pushing past the tools, which is unique for Swiss. On a traditional chucker lathe, you're moving the tools past the material. On this machine, you're pushing material past the tools, which is what allows it to be so rigid and allows you to keep those precision tolerances at those longer lengths. So watch out for that when, when the cycle starts. You're going to see that part pushing out really quick, and all of a sudden, you're going to have over an inch apart moving past the tools at a very small diameter. Uh, for some of the experts, things to look out for are about halfway through the main spindle side, you're going to see the live tools will move over and we're going to be milling a hex onto the part to showcase the milling features of this machine. So we'll be doing a turn at first, milling a hex. Then there's going to be deburring tools, which will be deburring all the broken edges. So watch out for that. And for the real expert guys, watch what the back spindle is doing because that's going to be moving independently and you're gonna see two things happening at once because that's what this machine is really showcasing as well is the, the, the ability to move both sides at once. So you're basically machining two parts at the same time. And we're gonna be doing milling on the backside as well. So the backside's gonna be deburring that hex that we machined on the front side so that the part can come out completely deburred, ready to just put into a box and send to the customer. That sounds amazing, Andrew. Yep. I cannot yep. wait to watch it. And how many seconds did you say? 28 seconds on this part. So, guys, I hope you have learned something as well, and thank you for watching.